Hey doing guys, Shane Kinsel here, aka Project E. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a trance roll and bass line, like something like the old Umazkin type tracks or all parts and stuff on um, reset recordings, etc. Um, fairly simple enough, I'm going to layer two bass lines together to give it that kind of fast sound. Uh, today I'm going to be using the silent and I'm also going to be using the reveal sound spire. So um, let's get cracking on it, this is the sound that I'll be making. layer 2 so this is the sound here give us a look for the silent we'll begin uh, I'm going to initialize the preset uh, give us a look clear so I'm going to start with the two oscillators for this one and uh, I'm going to pan the left oscillator to the left and obviously the right oscillator to the right I'm going to be using two saw waves uh, one voice is each. We keep the tune all the way down to zero on both of them. Uh, I'll take the retrig off oscillator two and I will put invert on oscillator one and the keep the retrig on it as well. Also I will be using the step velocity. The step velocity will give it that kind of like side chainy kind of sound. And I'll be doing it with volume A. So I'm gonna bring this probably all the way up. And as well with the source, I'm gonna give it a bit of velocity and do it as well with volume A, so give us a listen, yeah, that's exactly it, and I'll bring the volume that down, now it's all in the ARP with this one, so I'm going to turn the ARP on, and I will have it at 1 and a wrap of 4, so it's just going to be hitting these 4 velocity notes here, uh, I'll bring the velocity down to around in the 20s, Let's listen, now I'm going to route the filter here, sorry the oscillator through the two filters, oscillator A, so it'll be a low pass filter, bring the drive up to give it a bit, and then I will be putting it through cut off A, this is what will give the characteristics of the sound as well, I'll bring the sustain down, and I'll bring the decay up to around, here's a look about 3, Cut off to around three o'clock. Give us a listen now. Still sounds pretty shit. Now I will bring the sustain of this. And I'm just gonna loop that there. So it's still pronounced pretty crap. Forgot with the arpeggiator, we are gonna be using sixteen notes. So I'll hit this to one sixteenth, and I'll bring the gate gate all the way up. And now with the bass, I'll bring this down. The fourth oscillator, I'll bring it down to two, and then one. And there's that lovely sound, that chunky sound. tracks uh, give us a look now I'll just kind of make the sound a bit bigger give it a key track Again, then you can use like a square wave to give that kind of hollow sound. The square waves do look nice. That hold on, half pulse, quarter pulse. No. Here we go. And then with the EQ, give it a bit of EQ here. So there's that kind of chunky force sound with the uh, silent. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial again, lads, because I don't want it to be uh, taking ages, you know. Um, again, here is the spire. This will be the sound with the spire. So I'm going to uh, give it a look, initialize this. 
Now as well, we will. I was thinking of. All right, we'll be doing two oscillators again with this one with the spire. Again, it's with the ARP. So I'll have the ARP on step. Uh, one sixteenth. Probably bring the gate to around eleven o'clock. Step as well. Uh, as well, have it on four. It's like what we did with the silent. Again, I'm going to loop this at three bars as well. And for oscillator one, bring this down two octaves. Detune down as well. And give me a look now. I am going to. Let me see here. Here is the cutoff. I'm going to use the the infecto. So we'll use low pass two. Just listen to this. Sustain down. And it's very low there. I even invert it. I was thinking of putting the pan. I was thinking the pan into the left and then the other oscillator to the right, but I want to have both of them in the middle. Uh, again, two. This is the force oscillator, and it's going through the filter in the spire here. To give it that kind of sound. And here's the amp envelope. Sorry, I'm going to uh, put the amp envelope through filter one. Give it that sound. Um, now oscillator two. The exact same. Bring this up to around half. Bring it down. phase there we'll be messing with the phase later to give it a nice big sound but we'll oscillator 2 I'm going to give it a bit of a halfway between a square and a and a, and a, and a saw sorry Let's see what it sounds like wide yeah. keep two of them wide sorry. sounds nice I'm going to put up the volume And again, I'll mess around with the phase in a bit. So give me a look now. There's our two oscillators. They seem to be all right. Um, now I'll mess around with the effects. I'm going to give it a delay. Bring the wide two around. Two. This is what I'll give the sound. This like big fast sound. Obviously with the saturation here on the, the spire. It's really good. <laughs> fat kind of sound just want to mess around with these two again it's just a bit of trial and error with these sort of bass lines uh, the great thing with the spoiler is obviously I'm going to do this with uh, oscillator 1 you can add loads of different waveforms to give it a bit more characteristics in the sound which give it mad sounds like um, let me think the the bass ones I actually don't like the bass ones at all um, I think like the piano these be more kind of obviously transient kind of sharper Is the two sounds mixed together so i'm just going to delve a bit deeper more into the the spire here and uh what i would do again i would go into the matrix obviously hit the velocity uh where's the velocity here it is and obviously trigger to filter one cut off so it gives a little 
upgrading myself. Fat with the other one. Again, you can mess around a tiny bit more, obviously, a bit of delay. And as well, I want to mess around with the phase. Mess around with the phase, guys. Uh, just be very careful they don't cancel each other cancel each other out because uh, you don't want that obviously because you won't have that kind of fast sound on the bass but usually I think it's generally around it I always keep it around like say from the 0 to 100 mark the phase Just, if you can hear through the speakers here it gives it a nice sound and with this So there we have it guys, there's another quick tutorial on how to make a trance roll and bass line, something like Simon Pratt's and Uma Oskin used to make. Um, so uh, I do hope you enjoy it and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel or subscribe to Project Date Official on Facebook. If you have any questions or queries about it, leave a message in the YouTube link below or send us a private mail via Facebook. Um, I'll have loads more tutorials coming in the next few months so uh, I really hope you enjoyed that and uh, I will chat to you soon.